Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Winston's Master Duel Roundtable. I am your host, M from My Media TV, and we actually have video this time. Not Woo! just I decided um, to to throw out like a video version, start doing a video version of this, at least on YouTube, where you know where most people are listen to. And uh, I found that video versions of my podcast seem to do. A, better than the non-video version so uh, here we are mm -hmm. also now because i have to upload it to youtube first to get the compressed version for audio upload um uh it's um, I'm, I'm actually gonna put effort into the titles of this now instead of just episode 18 19 20 21 and i digress so uh we are joined to, today this week we are joined by again the 8021st digital warrior digi himself my illustrious I am bot Wilford Warfstash. Uh the other digital warrior, uh, uh Zero Blind Star. And my and two of my illustrious moderators, not Charla Chara and, and Nearless <laughs> underscore. Charla. <laughs> Charla. <laughs> Butter smooth, Evan. <laughs> yeah, I've only been making podcasts and in and, and YouTube videos for five years. I'm definitely good at this. I would like. I would like to thing. say something. Yes. I would like I to say something. Like butter, like a criminal undercover. Did you? Yo. Evan. Yes. I hope for a couple things. One, I hope the next time you put on pants, you get your foot stuck in a hole and you fall. Second, <laughs> I hope you step on a one by one Lego. <laughs> not not Third, a minor inconvenience. I hope you step in a puddle with just your socks on. And Not fourth, minor I hope the other. I hope the other side of your pillow is warm tonight. Damn. Oh, Bold no. words for a man with a hairline, with like a like a red Lego brick. <laughs> God damn! This is a Yu Gi Oh podcast. Why are you roasting no, each other for that? Evan, 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 Evan. Please don't hurt me. At least I know how to build a fucking deck. Damn. Oh. You make you make a good point. You make a very good point. We're, this is a professional start to a podcast, isn't it, guys? Certainly. And and starting. Did you help us, W12? <laughs> right. Oh, I've already done that like five times today. Yeah, I am underpaid. I hope it happens five away. more. I do not have a spot in this. Now, Nairless. Oh boy. You think you're safe? Mother. <laughs> I hope you top deck every garnet imaginable. See, I've already done that today. And I hope it continues for many more. Man, I got locals coming up this Friday, man. You really got to do me like that? Nerelis, I hope you forget about the other effect of Ultimate Heart Conductor Triano again. I don't <laughs> even play Dino's IRL anymore. <laughs> All right. So. Yeah, forget, you forget your effect. <laughs> no, right, no, so... no, no, don't worry. There's only one There's one more person here. I have one more person here to get, get to. Zero. I hope your camera never works. Anyways. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so, for all... <laughs> for on it. The round table to the Chara roasting everybody show. God for, damn. For, for for all our audio <laughs> listeners who can't, who cannot see, Zero's cam uh, um, camera has been broken this entire time. It's just been the infinite Discord loading animation. Yep. But on, on that note, given Chara has kind of ran away from things, let us start with uh, Chara's lead on the new segment with Master Duel News. Chara, if you would like to take the lead. Yeah, we're getting a uh, new leak. Uh, we're getting Aroma card support. Like Aroma, Aroma Lilith. Aroma Lilith Rosalina. Quick effect, you can discard this card. Target one Aroma monster you control with a control gain life when you go to half its attack. That proxy Aroma Not effect. Black having had asked. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> if this nor card is normal special summon, you can special summon one non tuner aroma monster from your deck. Ooh. And it only locks you into plants. Chara, do you think that this is this would how well this would slot into a, a plant pile like Rika of Avalon? Solitaire. Yep. Sounds about right. Okay. I, I myself have dueled against uh, the new aroma stuff a handful of times IRL. It's pretty much just like modern day solitaire, as if you know. He Honestly, the only card out of these cards that's going to be used in the Riga deck is most likely going to be the Link. Yep. Link three Rose uh, uh, Aroma Lilith Rosemary. In this card, a special summon, you can add one aroma card from your deck to your hand. Okay. Not not fantastic on a Link three, but whatever. If you gain life points through, even during the damage step, you can special summon up to three aroma monsters from your hand to zone discard points to 
Well, damn. If this, you contribute to win one monster this card points to, then target one card on the field, banish it, and if you do, gain a thousand life points. Oh, so this just enables everything in Aroma, and it's just going to be, like, fucking stupid in Rika's and Avalon. Yep. Oh, boy. Correct. Any anything else, uh, anything from uh, TCG that we want to talk about at all? Uh, let me l allow me uh, to. Uh, for one, uh, l let me just think of this. Gonna have to go into here, edging Evan right now. <laughs> well, Fiend Smith. Well, Fiend, Fiend Smith is averaging forty percent. Uh, uh, Snake Eye Fiend Smith. Uh, it's uh, just Fiend Smith. Fiend Smith is great in Ubel. Fiend Smith is great in Snake Eye. Fiend Smith is great in Branded. It's um, just, it's just a fucking engine. Um, fun fact, we even have fucking Magical Musket making an appearance with, guess what, Snake Eye and Fiend Smith. Really? Yep. So, so I take it Fiend, Fiend Smith, Smith just enables... new adventure engine. Yeah, I was about to say, it sounds like it's, it sounds it like... It enables everything and anything under the sun. Do you have the ability to get two monsters on the field to make Moon of the Closed Sky? Yes, congratulations, you have Fiend Smith. Unless, you know, you get locked into fusions, i.e. branded. Hmm. Fun fact, you just do the Fiend Smith first stuff first, and then you go into the branded fusions. I'm pretty sure it says you can only summon fusions from the extra deck, but I could totally be wrong. That's why you only do, that's why you do it secondary, because most of those effects happen after. That's crazy. Yeah, you cannot you know special crazy? at all from the extra deck except for fusions. Is branded fusion. I was gonna say I think I know the deck a little better considering it's the main deck I've been playing in TCG my entire career. Now you even have Madolte making a comeback with Fiend Smith. No, really? What? What in TCG? Yep, it's on the tier list. You're just looking at Chief. Ah, yes, I'm, I am in fact not smart. Uh, thankfully, it's supposedly, okay, we get... uh, we're, we're supposed to have a ban list come late this month. So, uh, Doubt. We'll, see, we'll see what happens with that. Oh, anyways, in the OCG, we're getting evil heroes. Woo! We oh, real I, I, I actually covered a little bit of, a, a, a little bit of that. That actually was, uh, looks pretty fucking... I know, weird. I'm just gonna steal your thunder. <laughs> Motherfucker. I also am, in fact, the evil hero. Like, evil heal toxic bubble. Evil bubble man. We also have doom prism. Uh, send for cost. But now we have send for cost, but evil. Now, we also have infernal rider. He looks pretty cool. Doesn't really care. He just add, he's a dark fusion searcher. He could also yeah, banish him well, from the well, 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 deck. Well, hold on. Um, evil, I, the, 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 like, the, it, the, his second effect is really clunky to read. I was, okay. Now, Evan, you interrupted me. Allow oh. me to do it the char way. Ah, so sorry. yes, you normal summon him. You get a dark fusion. You can add it from your deck to your head or graveyard. So use him for dark fusion. After you, at the end of your entire combo, you get your nice evil hero board. You banish him and four other evil hero, four other monsters. Doesn't matter what kind of monsters, just four other monsters, including him. You set a super poly from your deck. We yeah, just yes, but evil. until the end of your opponent's phone, you are hero locked. But you can fusion summon fusion monsters that must be special summon for dark fusion instead. So you can do, uh, super poly, I don't know, the new Neo Slow, uh, Malicious Edge, uh, Edge, uh, Infernal edge, Backlash, edge, edge. the new, mm. come, the new Infernal Backlash, which is pretty much Flame Wingman, but better, honestly. Uh, if it's special summon, you can add a dark fusion or a card that mentions it from your deck to your hand. That's not fusion monster, so you can use it to search Mr. Infernal Rider. Uh, Evil Hero Dark Knight, a female monster and a warrior monster, it has to be a special summon with dark fusion, yada yada yada. Monsters your opponent controls, you will attack equal to the original attack of the fusion material used for this card summon. Which is interesting. You can make two attacks with it, or if it's and if it's special summon if it was special summon and it leaves the field by your opponent, you can target a female warrior monster in your gear guard, special summon it. Which could use two special summon. Um, I don't know. Infernal Rider, the search, another dark fusion. And then there's dark contract, which allows you to fusion summon, summon a monster that must be special summon with dark fusion. By shuffling from field deck, graveyard, or banishment into your deck is just a better dark fusion. And, or you could add Supreme King's Dark Castle, Castle or Dark Fusion from your deck to your hand. But why would you add Dark Fusion? You might as well just use it instead. Then there's Evil Assault. You could... 
you can you can only use uh for you can only uh, you can discard a card, but you can't switch someone for the rest of the rest of the turn except for hero. So you're hero locked, but it doesn't matter if you're playing a hero deck. You're only using hero monsters. You're always hero locked. Also, take one level four or lower evil hero monster from your deck and add it to your hand or grave or, or special summon it. So, hmm, 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 who does that sound like you want a special summon? Uh, ah, uh, evil hero doom prison, maybe. The secondary effect chart. Then we got, mind. I was taking a breath. Oh, if sorry. this card is sent to the gra if card in your graveyard but before the after the turn it was sent there, banish it, add a dark fusion searcher, blah blah blah, more dark fusion turbo. Dark supremacy. A trap. Fuck you, TikTok, you're not supposed to activate. Yeah. Uh you can only use the first and second effect once per turn, yada yada. A target face of cards controls up to new dark fusions and spells that mention it in your graveyard, negate the effects. So it is a nice omni negate. If it's in your graveyard, except for the turn of stomach, you can Banish it and then target up to five hero monsters in your graveyard or banishment pile and shuffle them into the deck. Good way to spin back the cards that were banished by Mr. Infernal Rider. Fun. Now saving the best for last, we got Evil Hero Neos Lord because I kind of skipped over him because he is the best for last. Because he's the boss monster. Also, I just wanted to piss off Evan for his OCD. Uh, you need to use a Neos monster, Neos or future monster that mentions it and an effect monster on the field. So, super poly target. If this card is a special summon or if a monster is sent to your opponent's graveyard while this monster is on the field, you can target a face-up monster your opponent controls, take control of it, and it is immune to destruction. So it's a super poly target. Yep. I said that. You, you did, I'm just affirming you. That's pretty much this card's sole purpose. Other than that, like, I was definitely trying to make a deck focused around, like, this it's... new evil hero stuff for one of my homies earlier. It's alright. I mean, it can Okay, now let's be honest here. In like... Evil Hero Neos... Sorry, Neos. You're, you're, but you're. it's not alright. It's a double disruption. One, is it's it? a super poly target. So you're already taking Ooh. one monster. Then right. it's a fact. You yoink another monster. It's the equivalent of... In my voiceless voice deck, I'll talk about it once we get to the deck profile. It's Unchained Soul of Rage. Yeah, it's crazy. That's actually not bad. <laughs> And also, its art design is fucking stellar. That is true. I, the design of but all I, these once again, thick as hell. Once again, I would like to go back to uh, Evil Hero Doom Prison. Search for cost, but evil. Search for send for cost, but evil. You are right. Hmm. Well, the other here's it's, the thing else I gotta remember. Um, it it's a level four, so you can normal it like whatever. But you can also be special summoned um, if you are if you already have an established board with fusions on it, which is helpful. also fun fact: evil hero toxic bubble. He's literally just ash bait. Yeah. Yep. Literally. I was honestly considering just not putting it in the deck at all, but I'm just like, but the draw two could go nuts. And like you could draw it... extenders, you could draw regeki, you could draw your mom. Further hand. Tra Wait, what? I will. I will say this though, um, and I, and this is my kind of two cents. The addition, like I say, the uh, Infernal Rider, paired with um things like, um, uh, Dark Knight, Neos Lord, and other um, you know, super poly potential targets and stuff like that, um, is, I, kind of love. Like, like, here's the thing. The thing that heroes need are more points of interaction. Like, when I was... When, to this day, I can play my Shadal deck. Like, like, like not tier, Shadal tier, like Shadal. With, like, some invoke stuff in there and some good stuff. And if I play against a hero player, it's GG. Now... Because here's the thing, I know that I know that if I go to second, I'm not going to deal with any disruption that's worth the damn that's going to stop my game plan. Now, that's not the case. You know the the having infernal right, like having the super poly into dark uh, into neos lord double disruption, that kind of goes nuts. Not super nuts, but you know. I don't think this is going to be the push that hero needs to get like into a really good place. But these are a lot of really solid. Um, consistency tools but again this is also here like 
they're not hurting for consistency. Although I think they have, I think I think these are better normal summons than the Ash Bait that is normal summon Stratos. But that's just my two cents. Also, I mean, no, honestly, it's just Toxic Bubble does fuck all. Yeah. Unless you draw into something crazy. Yeah, no, of course. It's it's basic. It's it's better Bubble Man, but that's wasn't that hard to do in the first place. It's like dar it's like fucking Bubble Man's going through his emo phase. Anyways, who cares? Next yeah, th th that is what evil heroes are. They are just the regular E heroes going through their edge e e like edgelord phases. If you guys don't if you guys don't Egg. mind if you guys don't mind <laughs> me going on, I'm gonna we're, we'll talk uh dual links leaks and updates briefly. Alright, hey. I'm I'm gonna take a nap with me up when this shit's over. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh no! Return of the ads. So the ads strike back. We got we got uh, some new cards. We've got uh, Speed Duels is getting um, a, a new a new uh, SR. Rush um, Duels. Yeah, Rush Duels. Rush Duels. <laughs> that Speed Duels is the Duel Links part. Look bad. Yeah. Did y'all? Yeah. I'm bummed that they're cutting off Speed Duels and Paper Play. That makes me very sad. It does. That is indeed rather sad for some individuals that just hate the current TCG metagame. In Duel Links, I used to, like a year and a half ago, I'd say Duel Links was like a good, you know, way to like kind of like play a slower, more, less like sweaty paced Yu Gi Oh! Not anymore. It's, it's, it's. As bad. soon as they hit Arc 5, it was just like speed. It was speed. It's just go, you gotta go fast. Um, Yeah, the first, the, the new. Tanger right here. What's up? I find it hilarious that in the Sprite Secret Pack on Master Duel, Sky Central, uh, Calvary Centaur is in it. Yeah. That is indeed quite funny. That is quite so funny. is Iperia. Uh, just, it's just like sprites and then good level twos. <laughs> and battery men. And battery men. <laughs> um, I'm gonna... Oh, there's a mannequin guy in here too. Huh. Oh, so they just they just put they just put all of the cards that you should be playing in your extra deck with sprite. Got it. Cool. I'm honestly okay with that. I really like that. Yeah, no, that like makes mm. sense. Like it's 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 um it shows that like the people making it are like paying attention to and like are you know it, it's a better quality of playing. Mm. Also, yes, Evan, I am going back to my roots. Which is I'm going back to my sprites. Building sprites. I, I never I ne I never left them. I still have my deck. It was the first deck I ever built on like my mobile account. It was like a live twin sprite. And I miss yeah, it. Yeah, I, I, I still play Gishki Sprite. Oh, you see, that's your mistake. You built Life Spring Sprite. I, I don't, don't talk to me about my Gishki Sprite. Back. I'm still sad I decon that when I'm recover, working on recovering it. I completely understand. It's Ooh, a still... We do not decon voiceless voice cards. Yeah, no, I no, I love my voiceless voice cards. And we'll get to there. Just let me I'm get through. The, let yeah, me yeah, get back, through the leaks. Let me get through the dual links leaks, and we can talk I'm about. I'm sorry that dual links doesn't matter. It does to yeah. some people. Like, dual, dual, I have to cover Duel Links. Duel Links is, was what got me to affiliate on Twitch. All right, respect fine. the man's grind. I got, I got, I got, I got to I got to give, put some respect on my heritage as a Duel Links mm. player. Tradition is just peer pressure from the dead. Motherfucker, <laughs> this was three years ago. <laughs> what are you on about, my brother in Christ, my they them in Christ? Oh my god! But ry rhythmical performer. It's set. It's you. You mill one card from your top from top of your deck as a requirement. Your opponent set, mills a card from the top of their deck, and if it's a spell trap, you get to draw a card. Not fantastic, but it's you know a level three, and honestly, like it's whatever. Then again, draw power is not necessarily the most the best thing in rush duels. If we're being honest. The only other rush duel card that we have is gravity plus dragon, where it's you you discard a card, and then it, it allows in the, you in what in one face up monster on the field gains attack equal to the number of face up dragon normal monsters on your field times four hundred till the end of this turn. Now this would be great if it wasn't a fucking level six, but I digress. Uh, we have uh Earth Battle Moral Uru is going is, is here now. This is I. This is the, uh, it does all the Earthbound Immortal stuff, like normal. And once per turn, you can tribute one other monster, then target one face-up monster point of controls, take control of that target to the end phase. Unironically, one of the, one of the few, like, 
Earthbounds that has a decent effect. And if you and 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 and, mm. and, I'm, and the fact that that is a decent effect is very sad. Also, the piece of shit Earthbound Immortal Trap, Sunvalon Daphne is coming. I didn't even know this. So you you're so, so you're surprised that Five D's exactly. error card has a shit effect. Gotcha. I mean, I, I I bought these cards back in the day, not fucking knowing what I was doing. So whatever you do, don't say Sunseed backwards. Seed Sun. No, like literally. He, he almost hit. He's trying to hit with these nuts joke, but he didn't account for your uh, thick headedness. Yeah. <laughs> And Sunvine Shrine. It um, plant <laughs> locks you. One. Uh, and once per your main phase, you can special summon one level four level normal plant monster from your graveyard. It's meh. Also, during your opponent's end phase, you can send this card to the graveyard, then control the target one continues trapping your grave and set it, which is very nice, I guess. Evan, I'm um, sorry you're catching all these fades, but I'm also not sorry. Well, it's the first video episode, and hopefully, more motherfuckers will watch this because it's a little more entertaining. So, we'll see. Oh, definitely. Like, dual taining? Yo, oh. dual taining! Moving on, what have y'all been playing this week? No, uh, I've been playing Master. you, Bell, Voiceless Voice. At... <laughs> Master Duel, the only correct answer. Alright, alright. <laughs> uh, did, you, did you, you brought this on yourself. Uh-oh. What, what did I bring on me? That was Nairless, not did you? Now, Nailus, I hope... Not Nailus, oh, sorry, Nailus. Oh. You almost got by this fade. Um, mm. Digi, oh. I hope you step on your shoelace and untie it every time you turn a corner. Damn. Next. <laughs> Next. Yeah. I hope your check engine light comes on. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even then, have a car. I hope your bike's tires go flat. I don't have a bike either. I hope your bus her? pass expires. I don't have a bus pass. <laughs> Does, do you walk to work? Basically. I mean, same, but like, damn. I hope you step on a crack and trip, spraining your ankle. Now that's just malicious. That's that. That's just a mal that. Yeah, that's not even like a minor inconvenience. That's just like <laughs> ill wish, I guess. Okay, fine, fine. Let me rephrase myself. Evan, I hope you heat, have heat stroke. Damn. Well, I do live in a house with a broken air conditioning in the middle of summer, so that's not a that's a that's not a there's not a non-zero chance of that happening. Although there's more, there's better ways. There's less painful suffering ways. I, I, I hope copper knocks over your PC. Yo, you fat, you I'm rat bastard. bastard. <laughs> you rat fuck. You rat fuck. Let's oh, rock. You know what? You know what? That was it. That you know what? I hope your I hope your fucking child turns off your computer in the middle of a league match. You got a kid? What? You know, was, if I actually about. had a child, that'd be surprised. I was talking about your cat. Oh, yeah, that works. Oh man, if only I didn't disconnect my power button. I did. Doc, you know what? I did the same thing. I did the same thing because they walk across my shit too. I did the exact same thing. Oh lord! All right, <laughs> all right. So moving on. For me, I've been playing a lot of Voiceless Voice myself. I will say I did add um, two cards to it to it that don't help with consistency, but definitely do help in my opinion with the fun. Um, How did you ruin the deck I gave you? I only added two cards. What'd you add? I will. I'm pulling up uh, fucking Master Duel, and I'll tell you. I love how you automatically assume she's like, how did you fuck up the list? Because I'm used to it. Fair enough. Yeah, whilst uh, whilst Evan's uh, pulling up his list, I've been playing a whole lot of U-Bell in Master Duel. Loving it so far. <laughs> not surprised. I'm surprised you haven't built... Uh, Will did you build Raider after yet? I have not built Raider I know you're enjoying that. in the process of it. Dude, I pulled everything I needed from Raider Actors when I was pulling your voice this force. I pulled everything for both. Damn, what's that nice. like, bro? I got like three non UR like ten pack pulls like in a row. No, well not in a row. I got one of those. In the same session. And the pity one I got from that gave me uh all three. I <laughs> gave me two raid raptor uh rebellions. What the fuck? 
<laughs> God damn. I have the world's worst everything. You know what's unfortunate? I decon three swallows Corby not knowing I needed them. Man, I mean, it's. It, it, I pulled a place. I pulled a place out of that. So well, it's a I, great extender. I don't need them, but it's a great extender. Right. So here's here here's the deck list. I made two changes. I literally changed nothing from the original deck list except I added Safira, Giant Dragon, and the Voice of Boys. It's very funny and fun, and I like her, and I like the card. Nah. And the second card I added I was was Prince of Pug. Prince of who? Prince of Pug. Tar you can target one monster you control with Guardian in its original name. That cannot be normal summoned or set. It can make a second attack during each battle phase's turn. Huh. Just summon a second fucking voiceless voice. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one Guardian monster in your graveyard that cannot be normal summoned or set, and activate one of these effects. Add it to your hand. Add one card, one other card that is mentioned on that monster from your graveyard to your hand. Hmm. So it basically allows me to go yoink low. Or it allows me to add if I need the Skull Guardian back in hand, I can grab it. Or if I need a low in hand, I can grab that. I think I think they're fun. And also the and also the, the little pug looks like this, which I just think is really nice. Hmm. So who's gonna tell him we can't see it? It's okay. The recording can, and that's the important part. Anywho. Now, have you considered... Uh, Dark... El so, have you considered the Gate Guardian support we got? Um, I wasn't really fond of the Gate Guardian. I built the Gate Guardian deck. I wasn't a huge fan of it, to be honest. Because you never ran it. You never ran it correctly. I <sighs> watched... All right, my bad. I'm sorry. I don't know. I just Damn got it. I didn't like the vibe of the cards Holy as much. Shit. You liked tier. I gave you a funny tier deck that gave you tw twelve negates. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> when was that? It's the Gate Guardian one. Jar uh... is getting fucked up right now. God damn. By the way, for everybody listening, if you want to also talk to Char and converse with him freely you are welcome to at him at my di on our discord though he is an admin so if you piss him off too much he will ban you or kick you out of spite as then i'm signing you up for every single spam email ever it's okay <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. you know what evan evan i'm gonna send you an image of your of your future oh um here uh is this <laughs> is this doxing question mark we'll is see it? the fuck did they just get sick? oh it's dinomorphia yeah um <laughs> yeah and oh, uh worse. it's dinomorphia labyrinth and i can't go for that no 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 i ain't dealing with that shit also i like no because that... i'm going to build it to fuck with you oh uh, okay, well, hey, better you than me having to spend all that that money on URs, those gems on URs. Dude, I'm just if it, it is going to be fucking random shit, honestly, random bullshit. Go, woo, random bullshit. Go, woo, yeah. Evan, I hope you get triple evenly after you negate the first two. Damn. Yeah, dang, Chara, you uh, you uh, really uh, praying on my downfall. God damn. All right. Motherfucker is on your ass, Jesus. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> moving, moving on. Is there any uh, underrated cards that you guys want to uh, highlight today? Well, Evan, you already did, considering you brought up Princey Pug, which is just kind of an ass card. To be fair, my my shout out mm -hmm. goes to uh, a card that a lot of people hate on for it being a new support card for Red Dragon Archfiend. It's the uh, the Red Lotus King Flame Prime. What was it called? Red That's just kind of nice. War Prime? War Prime? Yeah, Red Lotus King like Flame Prime, something like that. It's uh, it's it, it's his li his extender. name is literally Flame Crime. Are you fucking kidding yeah, me? Flame Crime, straight up. 
During the main phase, if you control a, fi a fiend tuner, or your opponent controls a special summon monster, Quickie, you can special summon this card from your hand. If, if this, DPYGO damage. is elite, fuck you. If this card is special summoned, you can inflict 400 damage on your opponent for each fire monster you control with different names. If this card is sent to the graveyard as secret material, you can send send one normal trap from your deck to the graveyard. You can only use each effect of Red Lotus King Flame Crime once per turn. Honestly, it's, it's kind of underwhelming for funny. RDA support. Yeah, it's, RDA has it's like the goofy RDA shit. Support, but it's like. It's just very funny the sheer fact that it just lets you send any normal trap, which, you know, you, you would assume would be something like uh, Red Rain, which you can then re add to your hand and set to make a guy a big, unaffected Bingus. Or you could send a card like Black Goat Laughs and just lock your opponent out of playing the game. Wait. It's really funny. Black wait. Go. Wait a minute. Laughs. Wait a minute. Nearly. That's, that's fucking vile. That's vile. Yeah, what? I have two of these just chilling in my binder because I managed to ass pull them like at locals from like packs of fucking Phantom Nightmare. It's nice. I'm not gonna lie. It's the Black nice. Goat Last. Declare one monster card name. This turn, neither player can special summon monsters without a regular name except for the graveyard. You can banish this card from the graveyard, then declare one monster card this turn. Neither player can. Okay. okay. Oh, so you can just like stop your opponent. Hi, my name's Transaction press. Rollback. Yep. Hmm. Oh, so it's just war crimes galore. Yep. Oh, it's a generic too. Which and it's better. generic. So if you just like if you have an outlet to like either like set it for free or pitch it to grave, you can just use it. Hi, I'm Fiendsmith. My name's Beatrice. Uh, welcome to Jackass of the Black Goat Laughs. I was about I was, this, uh, I was about to say like is, is any is is any of the Fiendsmiths a tuner? Uh, wait, what? Huh? Are there any? Why, why no, we're, we're 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 talking about Black Goat. Oh, okay, my bad. Sorry, my bad. I was why do you need to wait? Why? 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 why what, what made you think we need two news of Fiend Smith? Uh, uh, I, he, he, uh, I was flame the, crime. Flame crime. My apologies. Don't worry about it. I was not thinking. Flame crime is a tuner. No, it's not. It's a non-tuner. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna look at the OCG now. OCG. Mm, well, you know what? The top three is the exact fucking same. The exact same. It's almost like we're ha we're experiencing the same meta game right now. Welcome to hell. Whoa. Okay. To be fair, Tempai has more almost. Uh, uh, oh my god, Tempai has the almost the exact same amount of tops and OCG and TG. That's funny. That that is indeed quite hilarious. I forgot to put SP in this list. How That's do you forget hard. SP? I'm very dumb. It's okay. I am too. So we have Mimi Ghoul. We sure do. As is kind of every cute. TCG exclusive archetype, it's pretty shit. Honestly, I kind of like it. And you're, yeah, absolutely. It's hilarious. It just kind of sucks. Yes. Okay, I'm, I'm just curious about this. How come none of the uh, Mimigool decks I'm looking at have Pankratops in it? That is a choice. You guess do, you guys think, do, do you guys think they're going to ever hit... Uh, do you guys think they're ever going to hit Voiceless Voice in, in uh, Master Duel? Why the fuck would they hit a Waifu right. deck? Hmm. I don't think the deck Evan. does enough to the point that, that it's ban worthy, especially in hey, this format where it's ninety percent snake eye. No, I, I I do have this question though. Why do you think they would hit a waifu deck? Voices, voice, oh low, swing yeah. low, sweet chariot, and copyright struck. Nice. Do you know that I've Is actually that no un unironically? Did you guys know that I have sung on stream before and me singing certain songs, like because like my voice is I has gotten me copyright like claimed before. It's fucking wild. That's wild. Bro, Remind me, that's, never sing if I ever wild. get back into live streaming or making videos. You guys want to know something funny? What? Hmm. Eh. You know what's gonna be? You know what's gonna be ha happen when a bunch of Fiendsmith starters get hit? What? The Millenniums will come. They will become the new starters for Fiendsmith. Oh my God! Because there are indeed mo ways to get numerous guys on the board to make closed heaven. I don't know how the Fiendsmiths work. I don't play TCG. I'll worry about that when they come to Master Duel. <laughs> Trust me, when it will come, it you it will hit you in the face like a brick, a a, a brick, just a straight up brick. 
So I'm just, just going to assume I'm going to need 90 Uri Dust for Fiend, Smith, and Graver. Uh, 30 Euro Dust uh, for Lachrima. a close guy. Yeah, the 200, yeah, Engraver, the fucking $200 card. Yep, pretty much. So that's 90, that's 120 for, for Moon and three Engravers. Let's see. What, 30 uh, for which, Requiem. Uh, another 30 yeah, for, uh, another 30 for what, what's her nuts? Uh, sequence. One sequence, another 30 for a single, uh, Lacrima. Uh, what's the tally so far? Uh, I haven't been keeping track. I failed calculus. You're broke. I didn't get. Hey, I'm a computer programmer. I didn't get into this profession because I'm good at math. Okay, fine. Let me restart then. 94 engraver. 120 adding in the close guy. 150 adding in yeah. Wecrium. 180 no, adding a Sequencia. Fuck it. Roll it back. Jesus Christ. Uh, Two right, ten I'm, for I'm, I'm going. 90, I have an announcement. 30. I have an announcement. I have an announcement. And 240 for Desiree. I have an announcement. Please. And then the spell is going to be not, uh, SR. Okay, so that's like 390. That's rough. Just about. But, uh, uh, Winston Cup. The hedge fund's a bitch ass motherfucker. No. Why? I just want to tell you now. Continue. <laughs> <Okay>. yeah. <laughs> like, out of spite. Fuck you. We are, I'm, uh, planning, I'm, I'm going to, I'm trying to plan for a Winston Cup sometime next month. Come. And this it, it will be standard format. I I e it will meaning it will be played on Master Duel, and it and is using the uh, the uh, standard format um, rules that are on screen right now. But I'll read it out for the audio folks. Follows the standard the normal Master Duel ban list as well as the Winston Cup ban list, which can be found at hmedia.gg slash the Winston Cup all one all one word. Requ uh, it's it's an NR event with the exception of being able to add three URs and six SRs to your main deck and two URs and four SRs to your extra deck. I will be bowing out of this event. Have fun with your non-war crime game. Non-war crime? Oh yeah, because my cyber extension bullshit go kind of like cooked the last tournament. That's right. I forgot. Well... So and for well, I'm I've also been trying to work on some decks that work in the format. If you, I built in an, an at Ignister list that you ever, that folks can check out. Uh, that that list comes out on Friday. I apologize for it. Uh, the, but I at a certain point I get a call from my girlfriend and have to pause the recording, and I come back very high because my mother in law came through and decided, "Hey Evan, I got some I got some legal shit." Have fun, like, take a hit while I'm here. And I'm like, okay, sure, why not? And I was like, uh, hey. Damn. So I was fucking zooted, trying to fucking... You know what? That sounds like a hell of a transition. It sounds like a great transition, honestly. Yeah, go watch all that shit. Go watch that shit. Nah, I'm good. On Friday when it comes out. But, uh, yeah, when nah, I'm um, good. I am, keep an eye out, folks, for the for an announcement in the in the, in the the Discord. I am going to be working on getting, uh, set, sitting down on a date for the Winston Cup. Um, which should be fun. Um, also tomorrow when I'm streaming from noon to four, um, uh, it's going to be doing, uh, it's called CCG Brain Rot. I'm going to be playing mostly Yu-Gi-Oh, some Wizard 101, maybe the bullshit card game, Metal Gear Solid Alliance, all just all card game related. So that's important. But card that's, game turbo. Card game turbo. I mean, question, can you, your video see the stream? I am pulling it up. What is this deck? I give I give the gift of a wind up. Wind up pog. What is that random dino that's just at like the top center of the list? Is that this? the one that can is yeah, that the one? Glosaurus. Special it from the hand. level three. Oh, you can just summon it like straight up. Yeah. I did not know this is a generic extender. That's kind of pog. For a level three, yeah. It's nice. That's cool. So, anyways, crazy. purpose of the deck. This guy's uh, unbanned completely in Master Duel for some godforsaken reason. You get to this motherfucker as soon as possible and you win the game. Once for training, does it does What does it do? We will face one of his It's not a one. It's a soft once return. Oh! Get fucked! Infinite bodies, Keck W. So, in theory, this is what you can end on. You can end on a nice Regulus. You can end on a UDF. 
can end on a very cute Apollyusa. Gonna end on a Sargass. Also, just to say, as an extra special, fuck you. Nat Beast. I hate you. We hate this motherfucker. You see, craft work rhymes for a living. The fact that this deck is looking actually relatively cheap as fuck, like it is 90% SRs. No, it's not. Look it's at terrifying. Look at that fucking yeah. extra deck, bro. Yeah, the extra deck. 90% of this comes from the same pack. And okay. I have, like, three of them. I, I have a Nat Beast. Every, I mean, Nat Beast is, like, I have a Nat Beast. Like, I don't, I keep at least one of those motherfuckers around. It's like one of those staple cards. Alright, I'm like. just gonna take this as a screenshot. Merry Christmas at Nerlis. Yippee! Digi got his own deck for me. Also, you know what? Let's put the shine of light on the deck that I made for Digi, which I'm also going to be using eventually, anyways, because I have like sprites. Sprite, sprite with Magia. Magia. Yes. This just looks like a Jesse Cotton list. What am I looking at? Why is Gale Dogra in this list? Oh, so you can send, send Harold, and you can send uh, you send Harold and Ultimate Dragon. Harold. He adds Illusion to Chaos. Illusion to Chaos returns himself to the deck. For souls. Souls. What? What? And what? Souls discards Illusion to Chaos. Hold on. What's your normal summon in this? There isn't one. Uh, what? Actually, no, it's probably Beckoning Beast. What? All right. Um. All right. Okay. If it's Dark Beckoning Beast, then I understand the ideal Beckoning contract. Beast equals like three bodies. Because I was about to say, like, if you're going to like fucking like you like pitch a fucking uh, Herald of the Arc Light. To brave, I would have just given like Diviner of the Heralds instead and save yourself like six thousand life points. Uh, no, because Diviner, because Dogra, you if you okay, so hey, I special so okay, so I special summon Diviner. How the fuck am I getting Do uh blue eye uh ulti dragon Gurgur then? Good point. Good yeah, point. so I spend six k. I send these two guys. And get and this is all available to do, and of course, sprite engine being sprite engine. So is this just yep. Magia Turbo with sprite good stuff? Also, Ubel. Yeah, yeah it's got it's got fucking Ubel. The the fact that Ubel can just be shortened down to like three of the throne, the spirit, and just vanilla Ubel with Phantom in the in the extra is so Insane. dumb. Just anything like okay, just like all right. I was looking at you, it's Bell, a, it's a here, monster the game. Time, and I'm just like, yo, this looks, this was kind of sick. It's sick. And guess what? Now it's an engine. Krilling my shelf. Mm. Hey, Nerlis, you want to see? I have two I have two lists for uh, you, Bell, now. I've seen that. Uh, I'm a little scared. Here's my Apollo list. Pa ah, Apo. Okay. I'm assuming this is a non-Apo list that I'll be looking at next. Correct. Yeah, th th this looks way better than my list. Let me tell you what. You want it? Round round of applause for that for uh, our for our community's top fucking decksmith. Like on one hand, I want to say yes, but on the other on the other one, I like playing the ultimate nightmare. It's very funny. It is, but yeah. also because I learned the German pronunciation for it. Oh boy! I never run the that ultimate nightmare. It's just a card you don't need. Yeah. I, I I don't care if we need it or not. It's funny to summon the one. Just just like, hey, if this was an anime card. Let me help. Besides, look. Yeah, mine. Yeah, mine. I love this card. I play it in salad. I think it's adorable. We got Beatrice. Fuck we got card. Stupid Producer. Beatrice. Stupid Producer is kind of sick, though. Also, three freaking phantoms. In the I pulled it all out of the same pack too, by the way. Being a, a TCG player, it, that hurts my soul because Phantom, I'm pretty sure, is, a, is still a like a fifty-ish dollar card. Speaking of pulling cards, I say let's uh, get to Digi segment before we wrap up for the evening. Oh, so hey, I also do want to mention one thing about right. pulling cards. Digi, I'm so sorry there. Uh, Size after you this, I just need to be said. Nearly this motherfucker over here actually pulled a Magia. It did pull a Magia. I have it like IRL. Oh. 
Okay. And for Evan, so uh -huh. he can pull up the uh, pull it up for us. Please show us, Evan. How much is Mogger currently worth? Dragon Master Magia. Type in TCG right player. Now. Price. Yeah, on, a, on TCG player, it's uh currently at the market price is uh six hundred forty seven dollars and twenty eight cents. Some people are selling it for a grand. It's near mint oh, is six hundred nine six hundred dollars six hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety five cents. That is the first listing, by the way. I could sell this shit and not have to worry about my college tuition for a year. Okay, nice, nice. Here's my thing. Here's my thing, right? Battles of Legend, like this this fucking booster box, right? Yeah, the Terminal Revenge. I, like, here's my thing, right? I would say that, unironically, if you spent 500, uh, like, you bought, like, seven of these, which would be about 500-ish dollars... You, yep. you could it you, like I I think that like that is a justifiable risk on the on a on a, on a chance of getting this shit. I don't know about auto because you got to remember it is a QCR. It's a very like not like it, it's not zero, but it is uh pretty zero point non zero. Yeah, it's also a hey, the Zark War Crime list. I fucking love this shit. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about this also one right now. Royals. Yeah, the one that, yeah. Nah, I was just trying to show the Royals. Oh, well, your yeah, eyes, right, yeah. their eyes are mine. Yup, the the money, the cash, uh, it's blinding. Fire Any King players are jealous. <laughs> Anyways, mm -hmm. Digi, would you like to get on with your segment? Yes, I would like to get on with my segment. So, right. as it's, of it's recently, I basically, well, my store basically started selling a new box known as the Infinite Forbidden, and we only had one box of Legacy of Destruction left, so I got both that and another Infinite Forbidden box, so my segment's gonna be twice as long as it normally is. Yep! Alrighty then, let's see. First, we're going to be reviewing the first pack of legacy of destruction the highlight we have from this one is an earth monster by the name of dandy white lion oh With the retrain oh boy and i got and another he's tantrum toddler again goodness gracious all right to the pile with you on to the second pack, let's see, we've got Celatrice Valmonica, a, yeah, Valmonica. Water monster, a water monster with 1,200 attack and 1,200 defense. Oh, oh wait, boy, that's I, the main deck Valmonica guy? I have no oh, idea. Oh, that's a starter. That's a starter. Oh yeah, oh, Celatrice so Valmonica. Okay. Yeah, that's like the main card of the deck. Oh, okay. It's not a good deck, but the deck. It certainly isn't, but right. yeah. On to the third one. Let's see here. Where is it? Aha! A field spell by the name of Nightmare Throne. Holy shit! That's money. Is that it? is money. Yeah, that's the... Night and then pull out the price. Nightmare Throne. I got you. Uh, 30 Hold bucks. On. Oh, damn. That is money, isn't it? Okay. And that's like, yeah. if it's the ultra rare. If you buy some sheer shit stain miracle, pull the QCR, it's 200. How's okay. it look? All right. How's the card is look? Like, is the whole card foil or is it just the art? I think like it's, the name. Yeah, it's the art and the name. Okay. Yeah. Then that's the ultra. Still 30 bucks though, okay. but hey, that ain't too shabby. All right. All right. On to the last Legacy of Destruction pack, and then we'll do Infinite Forbidden. A quick play spell card by the name of Turn Silence. Let's go. Shining Sarcophagus support. All right. All right. That was a pretty good haul from Legacy of Destruction, and it'll probably be the last haul I get from Legacy of Destruction because we have Infinite Forbidden. All right. One moment. Give me like 20 seconds. Stop. I got to put the rubber band back on. For for the for this deck. 
God, it, it, I have so many cards for Legacy of Destruction. It's not even funny. Hmm. Okay. There we go. Tenpai Ten is still pl is very playable. It yes, always it has been, and chances are it always will be, as long as the field spell is legal. And By the way, I don't know if y'all know this about my fucking Sprite Magia list, but there is not a single Sprite right in it. Okay. I actually did not notice that. That's quite funny. That's wild. Because the point All of the right. deck is to get you out Magia. Oh, so why, right. so why would you need... Alright, on to Infinite Forbidden. First right. pack from it's Infinite Forbidden. Copian. The highlight is... Sengen Jin wakes from a millennium. A ah. Earth monster with an attack power of 2,750 and defense of 2,500. Nice. That shit looks Cute. powerful right there. All right. And Ain't money, but hey. Future, future Fiendsmith yep. starter. True, true, true. It'll, it'll probably jump up in price if any of the Fiendsmith stuff ever gets hit. God, what if he pulls yeah, an engraver? True. If he pulls an engraver, I'm throwing up. All right, let's I will see. Flop. We've got... Hold on a second, what is this? Evan, what was that one Fiendsmith you told me to look out for? Engraver. It's a main deck engraver, effect monster. Okay. Like, level 6, I Which think. Which one did you pull? I... Okay, I, I see Fiendsmith's Lacrima. That. All right, hold on a second. Okay, the highlight of this pack is Spell Card Soul Exchange. Ooh. Goodness gracious. And it's got the blue eyes white dragon on it. Spell card soul That's exchange. how you can tell it's gonna be a good card. Okay. And on to the stack. Alright. Third pack. Third pack. Goodness right. gracious, these light cards. Light and are darkness hot. dragon lord. Let's fucking see it. Wait, you got it? All right. No, I wish, I wish, I wish. All right, so the highlight of this pack is Susurus of the Sinful Souls. So that's a Wait, what? Susurus of the Sinful... S oh, Sinful Spoils, not Sinful Souls. Sorceress of the Sinful Spoils. Sorceress. Yes. It, 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 it sorceress? I think so, yeah. It's, it's a quick play spell card. I actually didn't even know there was a simple spoils card in this set. I will not lie. Susurus. S U S U R R U. Target one illusion or spellcaster monster you control. Return that face up monster to the hand or extra deck. Then special summon one illusion. Yeah, the white witch card. Yeah, okay. I forgot that I got a completely different name in TCG. Oh, yeah. Alrighty then, on to the final pa Oh, don't, don't fall. Ah, there Calm. we go. Alrighty Calm. then, on to the final pack. Oh boy, another Fiendsmith's Lacrima. And another Fiendsmith's Sequence. Come on, what's, where's the uh, highlight? Uh, There's uh, the highlight. Uh, what are you saying, huh, for? You, you pulled Requiem? No, I pulled Sequence. Oh, Sequence. It was, oh. it was in the last pack I pulled Requiem. Wait, yeah, I was gonna say sequences of what? <laughs> like a couple like a couple packs ago I got the Requiem. Like the the link one. Pretty sure. Hold on, let me let me, let me, a, let me It's the one that looks like a again. It's the one that looks like a coffin, right? Yeah, the one Yeah, it's coffin. the one that looks like a coffin. Yeah. yeah. That's um that's the that's and an attack the, that power of six hundred. Yep. All right, uh, all right. You know what? Yeah, you know, right, none of this beats your luck, nearly. All right, a Mimi Ghoul Archfiend with absolutely no attack, but one thousand nine hundred defense. Yeah, I Mimi Ghoul. I love my I, I love my Mimis. What are? Okay. Oh, they're kind of cute. Huh. All right. Oh, and it's a flip card type. Certainly... Interesting. Yeah, it's a football. Right. I mean, unfortunately, it's kind of eh at best, but like, I, 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 I want to smoke some copium for this archetype because it's really cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, we are wrapping up. Thank you so very much for listening to and watching the first video version of Winston's Master Roundtable. Uh, 
Uh, um, hopefully, I'll, I will work with Nerlis and so he can get his OBS set up in such a way that he could have like a picture of him, of something up as a, as a meme or whatever. Uh, big uh, as well as like similar to how Char is doing, you can like just shit his pants. And hopefully Zero will be able to join us and talk. Was he supposed to talk? Idea. Yeah, but he, I don't know what happened. Zero. Yeah, I don't know either. Trace, you have been Zero. incredibly quiet this whole time. Right? He, he's just been trying to talk his whole time, but he's like fucked up his mic or something. Yo, is your mic muted, dude? Maybe. Type in side chat or something. The mute act. Yeah. But in I but in either way, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you can go fo- you can find Digi on twitch.tv slash PDW underscore eighty twenty one. You can find Zero on twitch.tv slash TDW underscore zero three three three. You can find Chara in our Discord, and you can find Nerlis on YouTube at youtube.com slash doesn't even link my YouTube. Yeah, motherfucker, you don't care about it. You told me you don't care. Yeah, okay. know what? You know what, Evan? Oh god. I want you to. I want you to know this one. startling fact. You both can play through oh. evenly. Yeah, I knew that. Wait, you both can play. You can also play through Nibiru. Oh yeah. Uh, and uh, evenly, uh, Nerlis. Already. If oh. you want to, fo- if you want to follow Chara. You can find him on YouTube at youtube.com slash not chara six six two. Damn, I was so close to having metal all stitches. Pipe. Your metal pipe. No, nah, I yeah. don't have I can't do metal pipe in stages. But I can do this. Um, I was hoping he would just actually drop a metal pipe just IRL. I <laughs> fucking wish I had one of those. I don't have a steel floor though. To me. You see, I have you trained, Nerlis. Have a go. Have a go on everybody. <laughs> See you. <Yeah. bye. laughs> Woo! Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg/discord. Discord links there. We'd love to have you and. Given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at himedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have great day.